So guess what, guys? It, it's time to move. There's a big change happening. So if, if we're a little slower on videos for the next couple of weeks, you know why. It's because we are moving from the Fro factory after about seven years being in this location. There's a new location, and I'm gonna show you that a little later in this video, but I wanna go through the process because we're breaking things down. I mean, look at this. We've got this studio over here. Everything here has gotta go. It's gotta go to the new place. We've gotta take all the lights, we gotta take all the stands, we gotta break down all the sets, and we gotta rebuild them at the newer place. So there's a lot to get done. But, oh, 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 look at me, look at me. I got a recommendation. If you are moving, if you're ever moving, don't go get a U-Haul. Hire someone if you can, because it saves a lot of wear and tear on your body and a lot of stress from having to get a, a U-Haul to do it and then crashing a U-Haul. Do your own move. Oh, what's interesting is we've been here for seven years, so we've got a lot of crap. There's a lot of stuff that has been sitting here for six years that we haven't touched. So we have to go through the process of throwing stuff out. We have to go through the process of deciding, do we give this away? What is this for? Do we even need this? And where does this cable go? So this is the process. We're gonna walk through. I'm just gonna show you some stuff because we obviously have some boxes that we started to pack up. We gotta get all the printers over there. We gotta get all of the cables over there. We gotta get all of the camera equipment. So right now, this is the gear that I use. We've already started taking gear over to the new place, so there's a lot to get done, right? My printer area, we've got boxes done. Oh, the Wheel of Fro. Maybe we'll get the Wheel of Fro set up at the new place, because back here is where we used to do Raw Talk. Remember, Frono's Photo Raw Talk, that version of it with the table? That's where it all took place. So we've done a lot here in seven years, uh, a lot. Did we outgrow this space? Well, that's a kind of a good question. Did we outgrow it? Uh, I mean, we could always build more sets. So the new building is bigger. You're gonna see there's more space. We're gonna set up new sets, which means the old sets that you're used to might be slightly different and some of them might look pretty similar, but we've got a lot of stuff here. We got the boxes packed up. We're gonna have the moving people come in. We're figuring out what is going. I mean, look, look at all this gear. The gear shelves are empty right now. Printer's gotta go, server's gotta go, everything's gotta come with us. Let me take you on a quick tour of the factory before we uh, we get rid of everything or before we move. But yeah, this is downstairs. Pinball machine, that's going to my house. That's where that's going. But look at this. We've got a pile of boxes and gear. All of this stuff. Actually, I think most of this stuff I don't even want. A lot of this stuff was in the basement and we don't use, like this big Pelican case, we don't use that. We've got all these boxes from old Apple computers. What do we do with them all? I don't know. We've got all these Baker racks. Uh, we got the sign. We have our beautiful gloss black uh, mural that he painted on the wall. That will be getting covered up, but not ruined. We'll be, uh, that will be staying here for a secret for someone to find one day. But yeah, this is the studio where all the photo news fix happened. I mean, how do we get this printer over there? Carefully is the answer. I mean, and you can see, we started to break down some of this. This is the store set, Bro we gotta break it down. I started to take apart Photo News Fix already. We've got all of Photo News Fix that I gotta break down and take over. We got my million plaque, which I've actually earned, right? We earned that. We didn't cheat or anything to get that, like people that buy subscribers. We don't, we don't actually do that. So yeah, we're gonna rebuild some of these sets over at the new place. We're, we're gonna see how it works out. But l let me just say, you know, when I bought this place in 2015-ish, 2016-ish, we needed the space because we went from my loft where we used to film. I mean, I lived there and I would come down every day. Steven and Dan would come to the house or Steven would come and we would film in my house. It was basically a studio that I lived at. And then we picked this up because it was more space and I didn't expect to move out of here, but an opportunity arose and I took it. And so you're going to see the new opportunity in just a minute when we, when we walk over there. But I mean, I appreciate you guys so much for sticking around and staying with our stories and, and seeing what we've been doing and following. So just be aware over the next couple of weeks while we're doing this move and transition to a new space, we, uh, we gotta get things set up. And then, and then Steven has to have a baby. Um, and then Steven gets paternity leave and stuff. So there's a, there's a lot going on in the meantime. So it's gonna be an interesting end of the year here and I expect it's gonna get busy with gear too. So you know what? Let's walk over to the new space and give you a quick tour while it's empty. Let's take a look at floor one. Here we go. Woo! That's right, this is the new spot. We already rolled over some bags. 
Look at this. <laughs> if it's marked red, it's Canon. If it's marked orange, it's Sony. If it's marked yellow, it's Nikon. We got a lot more stuff to move, but this is what the place looks like. Here you go. This is floor one. Down here, you got your basement floor. So you can see you can go out through there and go down. So we've got a lot of spaces. Well, it's echoey right now, but we've got a lot of places to put sets on floor one, but wait till you see floor two. So this is floor one. We got the kitchen area. We've got this whole big area. The back area over here is where the, uh, the desk is gonna go. I think this is gonna be my work area and maybe the big ass printer. We're gonna figure out where all that goes to at some point because that's, that's what we gotta do. We gotta do that soon because we're moving in two days. You got the high ceilings. You got the wood floors. You wanna you want check out the basement? Let's go check out the basement. Doop doop be doo. I mean, I could kind of get the printer down here. We could put the big printer. Kinda could could come live. The printer could live over in this area. I don't know. We got that. Secret door. Don't know why the basement door is open, but let's give that a close. And here you go. Big basement. We can do a lot down here because it's actually cool and dry. So we have this whole area to do stuff in. So very nice, huge basement to work with. All right, let's take a look. Let's go upstairs. Okay, let's go to the second floor. This is not the second floor, this is the first floor. Except if you're in Europe, then it would be considered the first floor, I don't know, whatever. Here we go, two steps at a time. And this is where we're gonna build most of the sets. Here you go. Oh, the air's cranking. Oh, the air's working too. It wasn't working earlier, now it is. But here you go. Here's this space, wide open. Lots of sets are gonna get built up here. You got all this space. Really nice, right? Woo! There's a lot to get done. We've gotta move, we gotta finish packing. We gotta get the, the movers are here Friday. They're bringing a bunch of trucks. We gotta get everything carried carefully over here. Uh, and we're gonna start fresh. We're gonna start new. It's a new opportunity for us to reinvent some of our sets, maybe build some new sets, do something different. We'll see, but we appreciate you guys being along for the journey that started, well, in my dad's bedroom, well, my bedroom at my dad's house, and then in the backyard, then to the first loft, which was pretty cool. That thing had a ton of space where I made a lot of videos out of there when I moved out, bought that first place, made videos there for years until 2015, 2016, moved into the current factory, and now moving it over to here to create more. So we don't know where tomorrow will take us, and we don't know what the future will hold, but onward and upward, and uh, again, if we're making less content for the time being, just know we've got this whole new place to set up and we'll be continuing to make stuff happen. So thank you guys very much for watching. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.